Here in the Ritaruki Valley in the Wanganui region, one of the local farmers has organised a field day for everyone to get together. And it's not just about the exceptional goat curry that I've heard so much about. It's a chance for these guys to get together and learn about how to get rid of predators on their land and how to protect their local na native wildlife. Today I just wanted to um, bring you along to tell you a bit of our plan about what we're starting to do with these stoat lines. Show you a few different sort of traps we're starting to use stoat traps and cat traps that started putting out on some of your farms. This is Dan Steele, this is his place up behind us here. He's organised the day for the locals here today. How are you doing Dan? Good thanks, good yeah. What makes you put on a field day like this? It's a pretty low key day just uh, to introduce a lot more of the farmers in the valley to the stoat um, control that we've started doing and the cat control and to start to show the benefits of why we're doing it the increased survival of the blue ducks and the kiwis. With just trapping the line of the river here, they've managed to increase the chicks from three or four to up to 40. What do you hope to achieve out of this in the, in the long run? I'd like to turn this whole thing into a big bird sanctuary and uh, have survival rates for blue ducks so high that they're liberating into other areas. This is a stoat box, uh, specifically for stoats, but catches rats and the odd cat and, and a few other things as well. We've got two uh, Dock 200s. These are the instant kill traps. I'll set one off here for you, a little bit of punga. So this is the, the latest design of the stoat trap, yep. replacing the fen trap to keep the greenies happy. <laughs> um, it'll make a wallop. Bang, just like that. This is Darren Peters and he is our national predator expert here in the Department of Conservation. How important is it to have a good trap system in a place well, like this? The, um, it depends mostly on the community and what the community wants to get out of what they want to protect in a system like this. Fortunately in this place it's one of the last remaining areas in New Zealand where blue duck remain in reasonable numbers and we'll lose them if we don't put in place a trapping program. Blue duck's special due to its, its ability to um, work in the white water. Uh, there's no other duck that works in the white water. It needs clean, good, clean rivers. Um, it works around the rocks. It's got an incredible little uh, rubber, rubberized bill that it uses to nibble around the rocks and things like that. And that's where it finds its little insects. It eats the same sort of insects as trout. People probably don't even know that the blue duck is even more endangered than the kiwi, isn't it? Yeah, the blue duck's endangered more due to the fact that it's, it spends so much time on the banks. It's fine once it's in rapid water. Once it gets onto the bank, it's vulnerable to all sorts of predators. Rats, cats, dogs, but stoats are the main things that we think um, are dealing to the bunny nest. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to see such a neat group of people, farmers, locals, dock guys, all doing their bit to get rid of those baddies of the bush. I think it's fantastic and let's see who else could pick up something like this. Anyway, my long awaited goat curry has finally arrived so um, I think that's going to be it for me and uh, pleased I finally made it to this bit. Oh yeah, that's good.